If you're expecting an extraordinary video, then I apologize. This video is just average. It's about average. But in math, what does average really mean? To answer that question, let's think of a person who likes to eat apples on weekdays. Let's look at Monday through Friday, and let's figure out the average number of apples she ate per day. Let's suppose she ate one apple on Monday, five apples on Tuesday, two apples on Wednesday, three apples on Thursday, and nine apples on Friday. What is the average of one, five, two, three, nine? Well, when you get the average, you are thinking about how many apples she ate each day. Getting the average lets us think about what it would be like if all the numbers were the same. The visual on the left and the visual on the right both have a total of 20 apples. The left visual shows what really happened. The right visual shows what it would look like if the same number of apples had been eaten each day. The visual on the right shows that this person ate an average of four apples a day. Now notice that even though it's correct to say that the person ate an average of four apples a day, in reality, they never ate four apples on any one of those days. Every day was either above or below four. Here's another way to look at average. Here's a number bar, and let's take each day and put the quantity of apples on the number bar. One, five, two, three, nine. Now, let's draw a horizontal line on the bar where it says four. All right, now we're gonna look at each number on the bar and see how far above or how far below it is from four. The number one is three below the line. The number five is one above the line. The number two is two below the line. The number three is one below the line. The number nine is five above the line. Let's add up the amount above the number line. Above by one and above by five makes a total of six above. Okay, now let's add up the amount below the number line. Below three and below two and below one makes a total of six below. So there is a total of six above and a total of six below. These two amounts balance out. And this is a visual way to show that the average of the numbers is four. So we've just looked at a visual way to think about average. So now let's see if there's a math procedure that will get the same result. Let's look again at what happened Monday through Friday. To get the average of a set of numbers, you do two things. First, you add all the numbers to get the total. One plus five plus two plus three plus nine equals 20. Once you have the total, you divide it by how many numbers there are. In this case, there are five numbers, so we divide 20 by five. So, in math, average is the answer you get when you take the total of a set of numbers and you divide that total by how many numbers there are. In our example, this was the set of numbers. We added up those numbers and got 20. We took the total 20 and divided it by five because there are five numbers, and we got this. Let's look at another example. Let's suppose a person ate two apples on Saturday and eight apples on Sunday. We want to know the average amount of apples she ate per day over the weekend. To get the average of a set of numbers, you first add all the numbers and get their total. Two plus eight equals 10. Once you have the total, you divide it by how many numbers there are. In this case, there are two numbers, so we divide 10 by two. In math, average is the answer you get when you take the total of a set of numbers and you divide that total by how many numbers there are. Getting the average lets us think about what it would be like if all the numbers were the same. All right, let's look at one last example. Let's suppose a hairdresser is open on four days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. On Monday, two people go to the hairdresser. On Tuesday, six people go to the hairdresser. On Wednesday, one person goes to the hairdresser. And on Thursday, five people go to the hairdresser. We want to know the average number of people that visited the hairdresser each day. So to get the average of a set of numbers, you do two things. First, you add all the numbers to get their total. 
2 plus 6 plus 1 plus 5 equals 14. Once you have the total, you divide it by how many numbers there are. In this case, there are four numbers, so we divide 14 by 4. So to split 14 into four equal groups, each group will need to have three and a half. So the hairdresser had an average of three and a half visitors per day. Yep, it's true. Three and a half plus three and a half plus three and a half plus three and a half does equal 14. But honestly, I do think it would be a little bit weird to have a half person walk in to get a haircut. But in fact, you could think of average as a made up mathematical idea. It lets us think about what it would be like if all the numbers were the same. Remember, in math, average is the answer when you add up the total of a set of numbers and you divide that total by how many numbers there are. Average lets us think about what it would be like if all the numbers were the same.